Welcome back to Fishbowl Adventures. We have got ourselves a new GU Patrol and I'm pumped. So, twin locks front and rear, 35s, 7 inch rims, rear bar, front bar, um, minor panel damage. It's got an LS in it. <laughs> so, the only issue is with it is the wiring. The wiring makes no sense. There's the wiring. There's I just I just watched my mate pull house wiring out of this fucking thing. So, but don't get me wrong. I think this car was a old telecom car, like an old Energex car. So, so let's go have a look. I'm currently doing the exhaust at the moment because it has no exhaust. That is not mine. I just cut this out and I'm replacing it with. I don't know where, oh, here it is. So, I'll put this in instead. So, but, talking about that shit, man. Yeah. So, Nick from Crompton Autos. What's going on, mate? What's this? Uh, Telstra things. <laughs> was joined to other end of Telstra things, but oh God. we don't need that where we're going. Nope. So. so, not at all. So Nick's sorting this all out. He's going to have this all perfected. This runs, obviously, something. Compressor. Air compressor in the back, we've worked out for the lockers. <laughs> so, um, yeah, apart from that, it's going to strip everything else out of it and get all this dirt and whatnot out of it. And Yeah. Oh, no, it's got that sound deadening shit in it like the factory stuff yeah yuck oh that sucks to get out oh well nothing a gurney can't fix nothing a fucking nothing a grinder can't fix <laughs> but here's the engine this is it and here's the big reveal Wiring is all being sorted out now. I don't even know where that just come from. <laughs> so, all that'll be all sorted out. The AC works, aircon works. Got that all working yesterday. Filter works. Taking this weird box out, removing that, and moving the ECU back into there so it's away from the head. <laughs> because she's going to be hot, so stay tuned and we'll keep doing the exhaust. So, I've just got to make a little bit, a couple more modifications to the exhaust just to angle it around the gear, four-wheel drive gear lever. In saying that, ugh, it's like this. So, when that comes out, it actually hits the gear lever shifter. So I've got to, like, Angle it that way a little bit, and then up, and then bring it around, and then up and in. Uh, so, yeah, I the flange and stuff on, so. But, let's see what Nick's up to with the wire. Woo! Crikey, mate. It fell out. It fell out. <laughs> it all fell out. So we're just going to make everything back to factory, all the gauges work, all these work, and then yeah, basically tidying up somebody else's murder scene. Murder, crime scene. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, it's amazing what goes into this. So how much of the LS wiring is actually in here and how much is of the ZD wiring there? Uh, there's LS. But that's about it. Really? Yeah. Everything else is still in the engine bay. That's cool. Right. Uh, we have solder joints here. They're covered in what appears to be duct tape. 
because <laughs> they forgot that they'd put heat shrunk shrink on the wiring for the joints. So they started out, they meant well, they just didn't execute it well. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time. At least they tried. At least they tried. So we're not blaming anyone. We're just going to make it look good again, make it all work, make it doesn't make it so it doesn't catch fire and fuses help. <laughs> fuses help. <laughs> so stay tuned. All right, so I'm no fancy fabricator, but this is all I'm going to do is basically just yeah, just pick that weld up a bit. I'm going to chamfer it out, and then it'll just create a little bit of a kick. But uh, yeah, so I'm just going to flatten that out now, and yep. That's what we're doing. Oh, that's it. The gasket will do the rest. Dusted. All right, that's some progress. So, oh, pretty much. That'll well, there. That goes there. But now it doesn't hit the shifter or the thing. So tight fit, but. I'll just angle it a bit more out of the way and for that I just have to grind that back a little bit because it's uh, going to leak real bad but that's right progress <laughs> LS things new exhaust just a bit of bucking straight there and but yeah I had to do a bit of a yeah, angle thing so get it away from the lever otherwise it'll hit the lever so oh well. <laughs> Pennywise Exhaust done, but that's just a cat and a what? Cat and a well, just a cat. Flex. Flex. Yeah. Boom. Let's see how it goes. Neutral. It's quiet, huh? So we got flexi cat. <coughs> now this thing over right from there, all out of here. That's massive, but <coughs> yeah, that should be okay. It, it would definitely shoot flames out of that, but that's all right. The wiring is coming along nicely. Just had to go out the road to buy a borrow a saber saw. But yeah, whack this in, see where it's gonna go, put some mounts on it. And um, that should take out all the stupid noise and whatnot, so. Yup. <laughs> That's that part behind me. This will marry into there. That won't sit there, put this here, that holds that up, then that gets connected back to there, but let's get an update on what Nick's doing. Oh. Oh. 
fuck is this? What is this? Thing? Can we go back? Oh, hey. <laughs> Can we just go back to normal lights, please? Like, factory would be lovely. What is this? Oh my god. It just keeps going. This plugs on, plugs on, please. please. <laughs> <laughs> all of it. I just want to cut all, all out. Eliminate. Like, what does this do? What is this supposed to do? It's not even factory. Goodbye. Like, fuck you off. <laughs> so the You're idea is connected. to. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Where's that guy? So all of this stuff, he's just gonna whoosh, out of there. So a lot of it, a lot of people don't. When people put stuff in, they don't tend to take the old wiring out, do they? No, they just kind of patch into it. And <laughs> like the roof light bar wiring, they had stole the main power for the roof light bar off the original headlight instead of like doing it properly and putting a relay in. It was just patched in all bloody dodgy. I've got both fans working now at least via the ECU rather than via a fucking switch that was just dangling down here. You had to pop the bonnet every time you want to turn the thermos on. So both these thermos work off the solenoid now? They both, the computer turns on and off. Perfect. And what, what, what did we do yesterday? 94, 95 degrees, they kick in? Yeah, 95 degrees they kick in, uh, 90, 91 they turn off. Perfect. holding specs. So holding the specs. <laughs> <laughs> the Nothing but dats in here. <laughs> what is this bit? <laughs> I already removed the tech screws. Oh look, there's another one! <laughs> what is that do? They basically just bridged it. Where like... does this go? Oh my god. So you can understand, it's going to take a little while to get all this rewired, but that's okay. <laughs> it's worth every penny. Because at the end of it, the last place you want to get stuck is out in the middle of somewhere and you've just got electrical problems. I couldn't think of anything worse. So, me, I'm just making it sound good. Well, I wouldn't say sound good. I mean, I'm just, yeah. But, oh well, let me welder. I'll tackle this up in there and i got to cut the back off then and we'll make it put this piece in at the back where it's straight there. Just, and then just chuck it in and hopefully I'm going to cut that little tip off. It's like a little right angle sort of thing. I'm gonna cut that little tip off and put it in and... Look at these work thongs. No boat goofing. <laughs> Can't thank Nick enough though, he's such a legend. All right, so I've got the muffler hooked on. I've just got to, I've done that. It goes to there. We're just gonna start it and see what it sounds like. So, off you go, but yep. Ain't too bloody bad now, bud. That's fucking heaps better. That's heaps better. Don't worry about the idling and all that shit. That's just a bit of a tune situation, but it's all good. Look at the clusterfuck we've got here already. So. You got this. Look at this crap. Slowly removing things that don't need to be there. None of this shit. Oh, have you showed them the bucket? Oh, the bucket. Let's go to the bucket. This is everything that's come out of it so far that's not even being used. Nothing. None of that does anything. <laughs> there's still more to go. And there's still more to go. Oh well. Stay tuned for the next episode, eh? <laughs> well, nearly done. One last cut and the exhaust is not done, but it's all muffler, the cat, everything's sort of done now. I've just got the resonator at the, the back, but should be, should work all right. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. But, that's the, that's the exhaust for today, so stay tuned to the next episode. Um, yeah, the wiring is the wiring at the moment. Um, basically, just gutting every last inch of it because it's absolutely shocking like oh, I've never seen something like that. You, it's sort of one of those things if you do a conversion 
I don't know. I, I personally would just gut the entire thing and start again. If you were going to do it, do it right the first time. Then you don't have to do this, what I'm doing. But that's okay. We learn from our mistakes. Not mine, but other people's. But it's all good. But, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Look at the sky. Can you get the drone up? Whoa, that's so cool.